Here we have the Spectraler Advance P2R horn strobe. So I figured I would do a second review on this just kind of as a repeat and to make it a little bit better quality than the first one, hopefully. And I just wanted to kind of do a repeat for those of you that are either new to the channel or would just like to see it again or whatever it may be. If I start with the front of the device, as you can see, you have the fire lettering, you have the strobe, you have the, uh, the candela. This will tell you what candela it's on. And of course, you have the screw on the bottom that you will take off of. Well, this screw right here will take off the device from this back plate right here that I'm going to get to in a moment. So if you look on the back, there's nothing much to it. However, if I bring the device closer, you can see right there, right here specifically, that that's the candela select. So that's what you'll use to set this candela number right here. As you can see, I have detached the device itself from the mounting plate. So now we're gonna get into the, the mounting plate or whatever you wanna call it. So if you look right here, obviously this will show um, uh, four wire horn, the wiring for the four wire horn, and the four wire strobe, as you can see right here, there are three terminals that are used to wire this thing. So this is obviously where your screws will go. Um, I mean, depending on how you wanna mount it and what you mount it to. And if you look on the back of the, of the device, um, you will see uh, system sensor model number P2R, like mentioned before, and here are some specific uh, specifications of it. And a little bit better view in case you didn't see it very well previously when I showed it. This is the candela select. This is what you'll use to select the candela. In other words, the brightness of the strobe. One really important thing I forgot to mention is the audio select, which is this, you know, switch or knob, whatever you want to call it here. And... This, these are the different, basically, um, how the consistency of, I don't really know how to explain it, honestly, but the consistent, but how the alarm sounds. So if you want it on continuous, if you want it on, a, on code three or anything like that, that's how you would select that is by, or control that is by using this knob right here to turn it to whatever setting you so choose. Just as a side note. When I got the device from the old elementary school that was being um, that, that closed and was being demolished, it, the, the device was attached to a back box to this exact back box, or at least a back box that looked exactly like this that came from the school. As you can see, it's pretty, I would say it's pretty heavy duty and pretty well made overall. Um, obviously, this would screw will, this would screw into the wall. And then, the, and then the device would attach onto these pegs right here. The, in other words, the mounting plate, or whatever you call it, would attach on to this part right here. But I'm not going to show that today for the purposes of this video. And that's pretty much it for the overview of the device. In other words, the outside of the, of the device. Now let's get to testing it. Now it is time to test the device in three, two... One. Now for some lights off. Lastly, we will be testing the device using the Firelight BG12L Pulse Station to give you more of a realistic effect. Without further ado, let's pull it. Three, two, one.
And don't worry, the strobe is working. What I was saying about the strobe was, is it's still flashing at the pace, the constant pace that it should be. Um, I noticed that on the camera, the flashes, not every flash was showing up very, very abundantly um, on camera. That's just something with the camera. I mean, this is an iPhone camera, but that's just a problem with just it not showing up on the camera. Just to let you all know of that and to be aware of that. Well, that is it for the review of the Spectraler Advance P2R horn strobe. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.